Outlander. Guys, thank you so much for being patient. I'm so sorry. This has taken forever. So let's just get to it. This is the finale. It is season two, episode 13. Its title is Dragonfly and Amber Outlander. Let's do it. It's just really weird to see a TV on Outlander. Who are these people? You're that little creepy boy. Claire's looking good in any timeline, though. I'm afraid I haven't had the pleasure. He's trolling for chicks at his father's yes. wake. My late husband. Oh, late husband? Frank dead? They were very close. Everybody oh, dying? What's going on? You're a nurse, as I recall. Oh, yes. I was. I'm a doctor now. That's right. Women moving up in the world. Is Mrs. Graham still in the reverend's employ? I haven't seen her yet. Sadly, we lost her a few years ago. Everybody's dead! Randall. I was always curious about Scotland. It was a special place to both my parents. Oh, Roger. you don't even know the half of it. Mrs. Graham had warned me not to spend my days chasing a ghost. But it's a hot so ghost, so do it. Still wearing his ring, I see. It'll give me a chance to take in the sights. I hear it's a beautiful, wild country. She's making a play for him. Y you make it a play. No, Y'all are out of wake! I'll quite fond of several rare editions of Prince Charles Stuart in the Battle of Culloden. What now? You you guys have that nearby? Can I read it? My true name is Roger McKenzie. Oh shoot! Stuff's getting real. Finally say goodbye. To that one person you loved most in all the world. Okay, that should lead into a flashback now, right? Lead into a flashback. I want to see Jamie. Jamie! Until he felt the wounds. The oh my god, shut up. You ain't Jesus. You're a toddler. Mark me before no, no more mark. marking. No more marking. You're gonna die. Again, it's weird to see like a road trip montage on Outlander. Many Scottish prisoners were flogged here. Oh, shoot. A lot of blood was spilled in this crowd. You got that genetic memory. It's like Assassin's Creed. Claire's looking good with glasses on. Chicks often do. Oh, he's right there. Jamie, totally go to that mirage of a man. Everything that's about to happen, it all depends on chance. Kill him. He knew that his time was near. Took his own life. Claire, that's a mortal sin. And you helped him. Jamie's like, you crazy lady. I don't know if I like Claire's daughter. I don't know what it is. I don't think I like her. He is rather handsome and intelligent. Not to mention he has a lovely physique. Quit looking, it's Claire. It's weird. So where did you end up going? Fort William. Have you been? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I just passed around the village. Places you and Daddy went before? Some. Yeah, kind of. Do you miss him? Of course. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you do. Well, she only like half does. Well, did you? Love him? Okay, only a little bit, but then a hotter model came along. This would be cold blooded murder. We'll be carrying out. Just stop a slaughter. Hey, hey, Dougal. If we kill go somewhere us, else. Take... You ungrateful son of a bastard. Dougal, it's not what you think. Go away. You filthy loving witch. Well, excuse me. Rude. Don't just walk in on a conversation. Start throwing horror around. I never thought I'd hear this music on Outlander. But I dig it. We lost more than our independence. Wait, who's that? Who's talking? Our, our oh shoot! I thought so. That's oh, honey, you got an adventure coming up. How different Scotland would be now if we had one. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. She's just really cool though. His loyalty was to us, maybe. You're an American. So why the F are you talking about this? That's a wax figure. I thought that dude was just holding really still for a second. Or that my computer locked up. And what's that thing inside there? Mm, not sure. Looks like a... Dragonfly? Dragonfly? In amber? The man that if you had no, Dugu, you have to shut your mouth. Hey, rude. To then plan the murder of our beloved prince. No, Dougal's having a breakdown right now. And you're, you're nothing but a lying slut. Whoa, fighting words. Like a... You're tired, Dougal. Cold and hungry. Away from 
Yeah. Whoa, shoot. Quit fighting. I'm not gonna pick you up on that. Ah, I cut fingers! No biting, there's no biting in fighting. You come on it, eyes, you're breaking all the rules. Y'all touching knives on the wrong end. Y'all gonna kill Dougal? Claire's like, I'll help. Oh my gosh, she's doing it slow. Um, that's dark. Jonathan Wolverton Randall. I remember Daddy talking about him. He's a jerk. And then I will come back and answer for what I have done. Give you my word. Two hours. Back then, you could be like, "Yeah, you committed murder, but you're trustworthy. You got, I, I take your word on it. You'll be back." Jamie, you're burning bridges, bro. I'm not going to cry. I say that every episode. That's everything. Oh, she talked to him all day. But now it's time. What is it? Say it. What is it? Goodbye. Oh, no, no, don't say it. Never mind. Don't say it. What I'd like is to know exactly what you've been doing the past two days. None of your business. Go to your room. Did you see him? Who? My father. Oh. Did you see my father? You got it a little sideways, honey. I'm talking about my father. The man you had an affair with. Not, no, honey, shut up. You know, it's kind of effed up to accuse her because the paper said she was incoherent, confused, and in rags. Assume she got kidnapped. Find something else in the Reverend's correspondence. I'm not sure what it means, but... Yeah, you probably should go in the other room. It's your house. And you haven't lied to anyone. Okay, Bree, shut up! I knew I didn't like this kid. There was another man. And he was hotter, so end of story. Frank didn't want you to know. Don't you dare blame this on him. Yeah, but you should. So I could have some kind of surprise introduction to my real father? No, shut up! I don't like this kid! And I need to tell you about him. You're gonna sound real crazy. I don't want to know anything about him. You would if you've seen his face. He's cute. You told me you just wanted to trace the matter of what? Yes, maybe could be so moody. If it wasn't for the Battle of Clotten. Okay, now now you're losing your crowd. My real father is some six foot three inch red headed guy in a kilt from the eighteenth century. You know, most people would be so lucky. Own up to the fact that you fucked someone else with Language Missy! Just like a million other bored housewives. I was not bored. And what Jamie and I had was a hell of a lot more than fucking. It was a love of my life. You know, you can slap your kids. You know that, right? Only two people know what the truth really is. And one of them is dead. Too bad it wasn't you. Oh, oh, F no. You know what? Walk back to America, Missy. I don't know what it was. I knew I didn't like this kid from the beginning. I love you like your son. Aw, he's like their son. Like our own son. Uh huh. Give him a hug. There were ghosts around me, everywhere. Oh, yeah. She's like, wait a minute. Where'd you get this flyer? Galus was here. A younger version of her. But she was here. You guys should go hang out. So she left. It's been weeks now. Why, why did you invite her in if, you know, she's not even there? This is getting weird. This dude really invite her in to have a drink and then nap? You know, if he's asleep and you're still in notebooks, just steal some other stuff. Afraid I'm leaving tonight to... To the past! Why wouldn't she invite more people to travel in time with her? I was stunned to learn. She believed you must have a human sacrifice to move through the stones. Oh, that's not good. Jim, I had to try and stop her. You know, last we tried to stop something, it didn't work out. No, you don't have to go back to Claude, it's cool. I'll not have you dying for nothing. I won't be. I'll be dying with you. That's so bromantic. Claire doesn't look to have aged very much. She's got the like one streak going, but her skin is flawless. In fact, I fought against it. I couldn't deny what I felt for him. Because you haven't seen him yet. If you saw your daddy, you'd understand. Because of you. You're a descendant. You told me that you were a Mackenzie. Yeah. What if you're never born? 
How can I not be born in here? I can't just evaporate. Yeah, well, you don't know how time travel works. You gotta know what rules you're dealing with. Do you see what's happening here? Roger, you are feeding her delusions. Shut up, Bree. Well, then maybe we all get to watch her slam her head into a five ton block of granite. Which is also fun. This gives us a chance to put a stop to it all. Y'all are gonna see her go through stones and you're gonna be like, Oh, my mom wasn't crazy. I'm a B-word. Sasa, you have not been a day late in your courses and in all the time since you first took me to your bed. But He's a good guy. He's keeping track. And now you and the bear, you must go to a safe place. Why can't Jamie go through the stones too? What was that? That's her husband's call. Is Galus gonna kill her husband? Galus, bad! It's this way. Come on. She's actually just crazy. It's like a fucking barbecue. Hey, get the effing barbecue line. Galus line. Dang. You didn't need to do that, honey. You didn't need to do that. Galus, bad. Oh my god. She, she went through the stone. Yeah, it's almost like your mom's not lying, you jerk. Roger, go get help. You can't do much help. He's dead, honey. How would I explain all this? How can I go back? Don't go back. You did go back, but you shouldn't have. I'm not ready, Jimmy. I'm not ready. Come with me. Yeah, go with her. It's not my place. Hey, she made her place there, too. You can just switch it up. He's so hot. There's a camera shadow on his back. I saw it. Oh, oh they're, just, they're just going at it right now. One last hurrah. Her name is Brian. Or you know Brie, and she'll be ungrateful and a jerk. Don't go, just don't go. Back, no, don't do it. Everything you said is true. Yeah. Galus believed that she needed a human sacrifice. She totally didn't. I... Is this the last place you saw my father? Yeah, but you know what? I don't want to talk to you right now. I believe you. Gee, thanks. I'm not looking for you to believe me anymore. I don't like you. From now on, I only want the truth. Which is all she gave you, and right. you didn't like it. Roger, tell her what you found. What'd you find? Well, but one of them, a Fraser of the Master of Lovett's Regiment, escaped execution. Where is he? Who is it? Was it Jamie? It better be Jamie. James Fraser. You could have told her that all night. You've been sitting with her all night. He didn't die of blood. Go right through those stones. You take a run at those stones. He survived. Go. Go to the stones, girl. I have to go back. You totally do. Season three. You going? You going? You going? Eyeliner on point, by the way. She gonna go back. What's he, what's he been doing? Now, is she gonna go back 20 years from when... She left him, or is she gonna go back right to when she left him? What? I don't know. Which case, what has Jamie been doing for 20 years? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, she's gonna go back. She's gonna go back, right? Like, at this point, I'm saying, leave your kid. Your kid was a jerk. Go back to Jamie. You know, if my mama said she went back in time, I'd believe her. And also, I'd be, like, crazy jealous. This episode starts in 68, and that weird little creepy kid who was, like, with the Reverend, he's a dude now. He got a beard. Revan's dead. They're at his wake. Claire's daughter's there. Chick Bree. She's kind of rude. I could. I just. I can just see it on her face. Little creepy kid, all grown up, totally into Claire's daughter. It's like guys, time and place. It's a little weird. Basically, Bree is like some history student. Claire is now like a doctory surgeon. Frank, he dead. That old lady that used to be with the Reverend, she dead. Claire and her daughter had just been planning to head back towards London, and he's just like, no, hey. House is empty now. You guys should totally stay the night. I'm lonely. People are dead. Claire can't sleep, so she's sitting downstairs drinking like you do. Roger dude comes down. They kind of have a conversation about what it means to say goodbye, but they also kind of reveal that he's a descendant of the Mackenzies. Then we get a flashback of the morning of Culloden, and Prince is still, like, totally gung-ho on just sending all them in there to get killed. Claire's like, I got an idea, but let's talk in private. Then we go back to the 60s, and Bree and Roger are, like, looking at the black garrison and walking around. And they're flirting, but I'm I'm not down for it. I, I, I was not interested. I don't like her. Bree was kind of weirded out by where they used to flog people. And I'm like, dude, genetic memory. Claire's driving around, and she goes to Jamie's old house. And she's kind of, like, hearing all the memories of what it was like living there. And then she sees Jamie standing there. But he's just, like, a very sexy mirage. And he goes away. 
Then back in the flashback, after Claire's pulled Jamie aside, she's like, hey, we can just kill the Brents. She's like, see, look, I got poison. I killed Colum like the other night. It'll be easy. Then back in the 60s, Bree and Roger just kind of pull up the road and they're just sitting around. And she's like, hey, was there like an incident around the time that I was like born, conceived time when they were there? Did you, did you know anything about that? Apparently she read a letter that Frank had locked up and she's got all a hinky fill and I don't know. Meanwhile, Claire goes to the public record place and she gets the like deed that transferred over Jamie's property to his nephew and she had signed it then she also wants to look up roger's genealogical history then when she gets back home her daughter starts throwing shade about how did you even love daddy do you miss him and it's like hey quit being a jerk then flashback again that's the format jimmy and claire are talking about killing the prince and dougal overhears the whole thing and he comes in he's mad about it then back in the 60s brie and roger are going to like the college or whatever and their plan's gonna be that they're gonna go to the Reverend's old diaries and see if he'd written anything about when Frank and Claire stayed with him, but she's just gonna wander around while Roger's doing crap. She comes up on Galus, cause you know, she's from the 60s. Galus is like rallying some people together and she's like, imagine what would happen if, you know, Scottish history turned out differently. And you're like, oh, I know where this is going. Brie goes up and talks to her and she's like, yeah, we got another rally going on soon. Here's a flyer. Then Claire, she's just like going through a museum looking at all the stuff from Culloden and she sees that little dragonfly and amber thingy. Then back in flashback, right after Dougal's like confronted Jamie and Claire about, you know, planning to kill the prince, Dougal starts going like crazy mad and he starts fighting Jamie and Jamie gets cut and they kind of turn it on him and then Claire even helps Jamie like push him down and he just stabs through Dougal's heart. I mean, that's an interesting development. I didn't know that was going to happen. But then again, I guess, like, no one expects to be killed by their nephew. Like, all I know is I'm going to be keeping a careful eye on all my nieces. They're cute and innocent now, but one day, you don't know. Then we see in the 60s, Brie and Roger are looking for, like, the diaries of the Reverend, and they find this box. It's got, like, some stuff about Black Jack and from Frank asking the Reverend to stop looking into him because he's not who he thought he was. Then in flashback, right after they killed Dougal, Rupert comes in, and he's like, what the F? What the F just happened? Jamie's like, okay, look, I know it's a little screwed up, but give me, like, two hours. I'm gonna go do some stuff. I will come back and I'll answer to it, but just do me this solid. Rupert's like, yeah, sure, you know, we were friends. You'll you'll probably come back. Then in the 60s, we see that Claire's gone to Culloden, and she's looking at the thing that said Clan Fraser, and this one chick's like, are you a Fraser? And she's like, I am. She sits down there and just talks and tells Jamie the whole story about his daughter and everything. And finally, at the end, she says goodbye, which is effed up. I don't care. You hold on to that hope that he's alive forever. Don't say goodbye. He was too pretty for that. Also, am I the only one that notices that little grayish streak in her hair just comes and goes scene to scene? And girl is looking flawless. Like, seriously, age that girl up a little bit. Then we see in the 60s that Brie has found the article about the kidnap by the fairies thing. And she's totally convinced her mom just ran off and screwed some guy and got pregnant with her. The article says that your mother was confused, in rags, wandering on the street. It's safer to assume she was kidnapped and keeping that secret from you. So be a little sensitive when you bring up the subject. But no, no, this girl's like, hey mom, you're a whore. You're a, you're a lying whore. God, I would have slapped her. Oh, I would have slapped her hard. Brie thinks that Claire has somehow planned this whole elaborate trip to just go sneak off on her own and meet up with her real father. It's like, really? I mean, Brie was the one that really wanted to stay. Claire was all down for just leaving. And it's not like your mom has been sneaking off. You literally are leaving to go hang out with a guy. She gotta keep herself busy. Claire's like, okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Can we talk alone? And Brie's like, no, this guy that I just met has every right to be here. Claire starts telling her about Jamie, and she's just like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And even Roger's like, hey, shut the F up. You said you wanted to hear this like five seconds ago. Let your mom talk. Claire's still talking about Jamie, says that he's dead, but he would have raised her if it wasn't for the Battle of Culloden. Cut to flashback, day of the battle. In the flashback, Jamie has just told Myrta that he killed Dougal. Myrta's like, eh, it happens. Jamie also says that he is going to deed over Lollybrook to his nephew, which is that, you know paper that Claire just got, you know, in the 60s. They all sign it. Claire drops a tear on it, which explains the little smudge that was on it in the 60s. Jamie gives the deed to Fergus and is like, you just go. Just get on a horse and go. Don't look back. 
They hug him, tell him they love him like a son, and then we go back to the 60s. Bree's mouthing off at Claire, saying, oh, I don't believe you. That's crazy. To be fair, it is a little crazy, but I still don't like you, Bree. Bree ends up storming off, and then later you see her and Roger are sitting at a bar, and Roger's like, hey, maybe don't be horrible to your mother. He's like, whether I believe it or not, she's trying to talk to you. Maybe you should just talk to her, you jerk. And then Claire's back at the house and sees the flyer with Galus on it. And she's like, what the F? I'm not free of this craziness. Claire goes to Galus' house, but I think her name is like Jillian in the 60s. Her husband is there and he's just drunk. Apparently, Galus, Jillian chick, she's just been spending all of her time obsessing about Scottish crap. Just staying at the school, working on projects and stuff. And he's just sitting there drinking himself stupid because she left him. He says she's been, like, writing in notebooks a lot, and then he just passes out drunk, and Claire steals the notebooks and leaves. Galus runs into Bree and Roger at the pub, and she's like, I'm gonna go out of town. I'm gonna go further that cause. You know, don't stop asking them hard questions. Bye. Then we see that Claire is looking through Galus's notebooks and sees, you know, the stones and all that crap, and she's like, all right, this chick's crazy, but she's on to something. Oh, but one thing is Galus thinks that you need a human sacrifice to get to the stones, so she's crazy and willing to murder then flashback of Jamie telling Murtaugh to just get all the men, send them back to Lollybrook. He's going to go take Claire to safety, then he's going to come back and fight to the death. And Murtaugh's like, I'll do it with you. We'll go out in style. Bree comes home and is like, hey, listen, Mom, I don't want to fight. I just want to know a little bit about my dad. But don't bring up time travel because I'm pretty sure you're still crazy about that. Claire tells her all about Jamie and about how she, you know, didn't want to fall in love, but she did and all that stuff. Then Claire goes and talks to Roger and she's like, hey, do you know anything about this chick? Her name's Galus. She's, you know, from the past, but she's on a flyer. Where is she? Where is she? Bree comes in and is like, yeah, I know her. And Roger's like, yeah, we ran into her, you know, at a pub. She said that she was going to be leaving town to further a cause. Claire's like, crap, she's going to go back in time. We got to stop her. But then we can't because the kid she has gets adopted and is like your ancestor, Roger. So if I stop her, you might not be born. Mmm, time travel. Bree's still thinking her mom's crazy. Roger's like, you know what? We should go stop her from going through the stones. And Bree pulls him aside and is like, hey, what the F are you doing? He's like, look, we can have your mom, you know, face this kind of weird fantasy she has. Either way, it'll be fun. Flashback of Jamie dragging Claire to a horse. He's like, we got to get you to the stones. We got to go. She keeps saying she doesn't want to leave. And, you know, he would stay with her. And he's like, yeah, I would, but I'm not pregnant. And I know you are. She's like, how do you know? And he's like, mm, I can count. He's been keeping track of her lady cycle, so he knows. Claire still don't want to go, and Jamie's like, look, you gotta go. Then in the 60s, they're rolling up to the stones, and they see Galus's husband's car, and she's burning his body. They run up just as Galus runs to the stones, grabs him, she goes through him, and they all see it. Bree's like, oh shoot, my mom was telling the truth, I'm a jerk. After Galus goes through, though, Claire's like, I hear buzzing. Do you hear buzzing? Then we go to a flashback and Jamie has brought Claire to the stones and she's hearing buzzing again then. She's like bargaining a lot. She's like, how am I going to explain this? I mean, why don't you come with me? All that stuff. Do you hear buzzing? I hear buzzing. He's like, listen, honey, I don't hear buzzing. Calm down. I'm meant to die today. Let it go. He says he'll find her no matter what. If he has to you know, be in purgatory for 200 years, he's going to find her again. Then they go down on the dirt and they start um smushing. Then they start hearing cannons and gunfire. They get up. They look at each other. They kiss in. They say he love each other. And he starts backing her towards the stones. He gets her hand, starts stretching it out to the stone. And then he says goodbye to her. And then she's about to touch it. And then it jump cuts to the 60s. Bree's like, wait, it's true. Everything's true. Well, I guess I believe you then. And then they hug. I'd have been like, yeah, I told you so. I would have rubbed it in. Claire is way cooler than I am. She also asks, like, hey, that was her husband who was dead. Uh... You gotta kill someone to go through the stones. And Claire's like, no, she was wrong about that, unfortunately, for that dude. So they've been there all night. Like, the sun's like, it's a little twilighty about to come up. Roger comes back in his car and he's like, okay, I called the police. I don't know how long it'll be till they get here. Bree's like, hey, tell mom what we found. He has a letter in his pocket and he says he's not ever sure if the reverend sent it on to Frank or not. But it basically says that there were some Jacobites that were captured, like Fraser people, and that... They were getting ready to be killed, but one escaped. And since they know that the ones that were killed, their names, like, memorialize, the one person that didn't get killed must have been Jamie. They're like, yeah, Jamie didn't die then. Claire's like, holy crap, he's alive. He, he survived. He's alive. I want to go back. Really cool shot, though, because it's all twilighty and, like, the sun's coming up over the stones and she's looking at them and she's like, I have to go back. I have to go back. 
There's a shot of Claire's face. There's a POV shot, like, coming right at the stones before it hits him. Credits! Dude, you know what? Okay, she has to go back. And let me explain why. Because some people might be like, oh, she should stay with her daughter. Her daughter sucks, first of all. Second of all, Jamie. Okay, you know what? I don't even need her daughter. Just Jamie. She should go back. Holy crap, guys. Again, I'm so sorry it took me this long. My mom was actually super behind on watching it, too. And she's been texting me, like, all day since last night when she watched it. And she's like, hey, hey, if you watched it yet, watch it. So thank you guys for being patient. I get what you're talking about. I get why you're like, dude, you need to watch this. Now, I actually have to get ready to go because my buddy is just now starting Outlander for the first time. She's only seen the pilot. So she's having, like, a dinner party and we're getting together to watch the second episode. So I'm starting this over again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back next season. You better believe it. This show is going to go, like, ten years, right? I'll be there for all of it. I'll be there for all of it. So now we have to endure another Droughtlander. And you know, like, I was, like, super busy and couldn't watch. But at the same time, it was kind of like, you know, you don't want it to end. And you know, as soon as I get a free moment and I watch it, it's going to be over. Which is where I'm at now. In Droughtlander, in the thick of it. Let's see if we can survive it. We'll survive it together. I believe in us. So I love you guys. In the meantime, you know, in the big Droughtlander, if you want to check out some of my other shows, my other playlists, go look at that. Don't forget to do the things, rate, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys next season. Until next time.